All right, Starlight Sunset fans. It is time to connect up to the Jayco for another camping adventure. Well, hope to see you there soon. So I've been asked, whenever you back that up and you're showing your connection to the camper at the start of each video, do you really hit it that close? That's pretty close. Oh yeah. It helps to have plenty of practice on this. Yeah, the steak's coming along pretty well. We got our mosquito thinner outers over here. Chair set up and ready to go. Yeah. A little bit of potatoes for tonight. Has even a better effect under the light whenever it's in the dark. The harvest moon finally broke over the trees. I was getting some very nice shots of it through the trees. And then the coyotes took off. Good morning, everyone. Not a bad shot or look out the front door. Have to do a little work today. So we're hosting a Jeep meet for work. And so I thought I would show you a few of the off-road vehicles that we had. Very nice, new, old, a little bit of everything. Then back to camp, and this guy decided to visit for a while. Do you remember these whenever we were in school? This is the greatest thing in the world. Right up until you left half the back of your legs on a hot summer day. As the evening rolled around, the sun and the clouds started putting on a show. A beautiful night. Sitting around the campfire, just enjoying the noise of nature and watching the fire glow. Well, it's time to get this day started this morning. Looks like it's going to be pretty good. Might have to try out the hammock a little more today. Take the old trek out for a ride around the block. Through some trails here so we can see what's going on. But first, the Oscar Mayer bacon. Oh, the sizzle. Can't wait to get those eggs in there and start frying. Get these eggs nice and hot. Got everything cleaned up from breakfast, so uh, take the old trek bike out for a ride. This rides out behind two of the campsites. I'm thinking maybe like 13 of it would be 11 and 12. It goes out to a nice little grassy area that opens up to the lake. Plenty of shade. Bring your lawn chair out. Just watch the world go by. And on the edges of these, on the edges of the bank in this area, the water has eroded and there's about a three foot drop and it just drops down to mud. So it's hard to really get in and swim without sinking up past your ankles to the, after you climb down the, the three foot drop. But this little spot has a little sandy beach that 
is real nice to walk out on. You still have to jump off the, the ledge, but it actually is a pretty nice place to hang out and easy to walk out. The water's fairly shallow for 30, 40 feet out, but just get on an inner tube and float away. Cabins on the other side of the lake and then we'll go down to the other open area where there's camping right on the water. And I think that you can see the drop off at this place. This one will be hard to swim at, like I said, because it's a big drop and then the, it's clay mud that you sink up to your ankles in. So most part we come here to go swim. Luckily, no one was camping in this site, so we could just go right through the campsite. There's the restrooms and the shower house. I'm not sure what they're building on the end of it. It looks like maybe they're adding another shower house or a new entrance to there. There's some very nice rigs out here for sure. I'm not sure how long those people have been here, but it looks like they've been for a couple weeks anyway. And there's my Ram truck as we're passing back by. So I'm close to the water. I can barely see it from where I'm at because I'm in a low spot, but just right around the corner from me, it opens up really well. And this is a nice place to sit and just watch the world go by, throw a line out in the water to see if there's any fish happen to swim by. And this is Sunday afternoon, so most of the people had started clearing out. That's why there's a lot of empty. It was pretty full. I think it was probably 75% full. It was a nice ride. The best part about this uh, campground is they keep it very well manicured. All the grass is cut cut it once a week and you can see the drop off there how far down it is and a couple of people went out swimming there's their shoes someone was down here working out there's a barbell and for some reason this is a GoPro 9 and I've got it mounted on the handlebar that I normally have my GoPro 4 on and I can't get can't get it tied so that it keeps falling down. That's why you get shots of the front tire every now and then. And back to camp. Alright Starlight Sunset fans, end of another trip. So we're going to do our final walk around to Show you what we do just to close it up. Make sure everything's turned off. Turn off the battery, disconnect switch there. Make sure the lock's good. Turn off the gas, make sure it's closed. Just check around, just make sure everything's in place. If y'all enjoy these videos, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. And we will see you on the next trip pretty soon. I'm not sure whenever that's going to be. I uh, think we're going to try to get away this weekend and see what uh, see what kind of site, campsites we can find. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Lock that one. And now, starlight sunset's going down.